Well, after spending two days at my mate's place welding in his roof, yeah, I've decided to do the same thing now. I've already started, just did a few tacks. And I'll go around this whole roof and weld it in. So I've ground around the uh, roof where I glued it on earlier. I've decided I want to put some welds along it. And I'm glad I have, because if I zoom in here, there's one spot and another spot where the glue hasn't taken. This is gonna take me some time. Very, very slowly. And the other side as well. Just taking it so slow. And now I've got all this welded up. I've just gone and put a little bit of etch primer along here. I'm gonna leave it for the moment. And when I get this body off the chassis and do some more work on the chassis, I'll put a little bit of fiberglass filler in here, make it all look a little bit better than it does. But for now, I'm gonna just leave it at that. Next thing I've done is made some really simple little brackets here. And they'll go up under here already fitted this one and all that is is just to hold the top of the screen surround here there's a little screw that'll go in here I'll put another one of my riv nuts in here once they're all in this one will go here I'll put another riv nut here just to make that sturdy and there's a few more that'll go along here okay now with all these brackets done I even numbered them to make sure I can put them back in the same spot on a later date. I can pull out this to where it needs to be, mark up in through here and put a screw right through here or a rivet nut right through there. And these screws will run straight up through here. And that's just to hold the top of the dash in. I'm not gonna do it right now because I'm not exactly sure where this is gonna sit once the screen's in. I mean, I've got an idea it'll be around about 12 mil off, but I can worry about that later. At least the brackets are done and they're ready for the screen to go in. Well, I've even got Adventurous, put the cable in for the shifter and also put the linkages on the Turbo 700 gearbox. And I'm finally getting one of these B pillars as well and getting these welds all done so that I can put the cover over it. I've also welded this sill section on. And with all that welded in, and I've given it a lick of paint, both sides. It's time to put the covers over the B pillars. I've even got this dress panel welded on. Well, give me an hour or two and I'll have this dress panel welded on as well. I also welded these braces in the roof here, just to give it a bit more structural support. And this one would kind of act as a rollover. Yeah, probably not. Well, here I have some more cardboard templates and I've gone and made them out of metal. What I'm gonna do with these is use them as filler sections. For the rear screen here. Well, with a few quick tacks, I call these welded in. What I'll do now is grind them all up and make them look pretty. And with a little bit of grinding there, that's all done. I'll whack a little bit of paint on that so it doesn't rust up. And with a little bit of paint, that's all done. It's time to get on to the next thing on the list. I have another thing to show you too. I've got a tail shaft in this thing. 